Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm coming at you with a bare face because I just did my cosmetic rolling. Now in this video, I am continuing my microneedling series and we're gonna be talking about just at home cosmetic dermal needling. Today I microneedled myself with a 0.25 roller. Anything between 0.2 and 0.3 millimeters is considered cosmetic dermal rolling dermal needling. And that is okay for you to do at home. You can do it very often and it is super, super helpful in the release of growth factors in the thickening of your epidermis. It can also help with crosstalk, so our keratinocytes are talking to our melanocytes, and all that means is we get more even pigment. Dermal rolling is one of those things that is pretty easy to do. It's a pretty low time commitment, and you really, really can reap some amazing skin benefits. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a demo on myself to show you my technique. I'm also gonna follow that up with an actual demonstration showing you how I sanitize my roller. It isn't with alcohol, and it's pretty specific. It's very easy, very affordable, and it's the absolute best way to make sure that you get all of that bacteria everything off of that roller and that it's sanitized and put away correctly. So if you're interested in watching me roll my face, hearing a little bit about the science, learning a little bit about microneedling, then just keep watching. Now, basically you just wanna make sure that your skin is clean. Now, my roller is already disinfected because I do that after each time that I roll. So I am gonna start, I divide my face up into sections. So I'm looking at my forehead, I've got my cheeks, I've got my chin, I've got my nose. Typically I would do my neck as well. I'm not gonna do my neck today. You do the same exact protocol on your neck, only typically you do your neck about one tenth the amount that you do your face. You can also do your decollete, same thing, about one tenth the amount. I can do a whole nother video on neck and chest. We can talk about that later. Today's just gonna be on the face. So I am gonna get out my roller. This is a 0.25 dermal roller made for cosmetic rolling. When you use a 0.2 roller, everything that you put on, all the products that you put on, are gonna penetrate four times better than if you just put those products on your bare skin. If you use a 0.3 roller, you get about eight times the product penetration. So I'm using a 0.25, so you get the idea. I'm probably gonna get about six times the product penetration that uh, than I would if I just put what I'm gonna put on after on bare skin. So I'm gonna start on my forehead, and you guys, I basically do a grid. I'm gonna go about five times in each spot, and I'm gonna move on to the next spot. I'm gonna go across. It's not an exact science. I just like to treat the area kind of as consistently as possible. I like to hold the roller with like I would hold a pencil. You don't wanna hold it like you'd hold a paintbrush. You put down too much pressure if you hold it that way. So hold it like you were holding a pencil and you will get much better, consistent, gentle, even pressure, which is what we're going for. We're not so I'm gonna start here. One, two, three, four, five, move on. The forehead can sometimes make you feel like you want to sneeze. Okay, so I do a grid about three across and then I'm gonna go this way. So. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. And then I move on. It's that simple, you guys. It is not supposed to be super difficult. That's the top, I could feel that. And then I move over. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Cross. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. See how I don't have a real strong grip. I'm not gripping this like it's my life. I'm just holding it gently like it's a pencil. So then I just move down to my cheeks. You really can go in any any way that you want on your face. I like to do the exact same thing every time that I roll because then I feel like I always hit all the areas that I want to hit. So then I'm going to go to my cheek. Same thing. I'm holding it like this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You can hold your skin taut if you have wrinkles and that kind of thing. You can definitely hold your skin a little bit tighter and, and do this if that's helpful. That's definitely okay. I'm gonna do up here just to this orbital bone. I do wanna do around my eyes, but I don't want to get this roller too close to my actual eyeball. I just don't wanna take that chance. 
So when I'm gonna do around my eyes, I'm gonna gently pull the skin down a little and then slowly do that skin, staying on the bone. So I'm not rolling super close to my eye, but I'm getting my eye skin, if that makes sense. But I do it much slower. Then I'm gonna go out here. Normally I'm not talking through this, so if I've missed any part of my pattern, it's because I'm busy talking. So then I'm just going to, okay. You want to try to avoid rolling over the same thing without ever lifting your roller because that's how sometimes you can end up with those track marks. So when you're doing this, try to lift the roller off the skin occasionally and then that way you don't end up re-rolling through the same exact spot over and over. I don't roll my actual lips. I roll kind of over them, but not my actual lip. I just don't. I think that what people might see if their lips get a little bit bigger when they roll their actual lips is edema and inflammation. And truthfully, in the long run, edema and inflammation aren't good things. In fact, that's why I highly recommend that you never use anything deeper than a 0.3 on a very regular basis. You wanna use 0.5 and deeper four weeks or longer apart. And an analogy that might be helpful to understand why is you may be using your 0.5 and thinking that you're getting good results, but what you're seeing is inflammation and you're seeing edema. And those things, especially inflammation in the long run, are actually harmful and they are aging. What you can liken that to, what you can kind of compare that we can see is a tan. A tan, when you get a tan, looks beautiful when you're younger and you look very healthy and tanned, but we all know that actually in the long run, a tan is harmful to our skin and causes us to be more aged in the long run. That's the same as using a deeper needle. You think that you're getting these good results, this plumping, but what's really happening is edema and inflammation, which in the long run, like a tan, causes us to age. So hopefully that analogy kind of helps put it together for people. So I'm just gonna do my nose. When I'm done rolling, I am going to put on today a product by the brand Antiage. Now, there's lots of different growth factor serums on the market. I like this one in particular because it is a TGF beta 3. Big, you know, acronym there. It's a transforming growth factor beta 3. The reason why I like that particular growth factor is because it is anti-inflammatory. Lots of growth factors that are on the market are actually inflammatory growth factors. We are gonna do an entire video dedicated to growth factors alone. Growth factors are a naturally occurring thing that happens in our body already, but as we age, we get less and less of them. Our fibroblasts are responsible for producing collagen and elastin and doing all these fantastic things, but they need to be told what to do. Growth factors are the things that tell them what to do. So as we get older and we have less and less growth factors, if we can introduce them into our skin via infusion because we just introduced all these little tiny micro channels into our skin, then we can flood our skin with growth factors, the things that are diminishing as we age. Those can stimulate our fibroblasts to do all the things that they did when they were younger, when we were younger. So hopefully that kind of gives you an idea. I know we throw around the word growth factor all the time, and I don't think a lot of people even know what a growth factor is. And I can definitely do an entire video dedicated to that, but just know that it is incredibly important in the, youth, the youthfulness of our skin. So I'm going to massage this anti-age into my skin. You can see I'm nice and pink. I like to do this at night 
for multiple reasons, but mostly because if I do this in the early evening, I still have time to do all of my other protocols for skincare. I can do everything else a couple hours later. I can I do my hydroquinone. I can do my retin-A. These micro channels will be long healed in a couple hours. So I like to do it earlier in the evening. That's how you fit it all in. If you have super sensitive skin, you definitely want to start slow on cosmetic needling two times a week for two minutes. So all those passes, you're only going to do two minutes on your whole entire face. So you definitely want to do less passes and gentle pressure. The following week, three times a week for three minutes. The following week, four times a week for four minutes. That's how you can eventually have it become a staple in your skincare routine. And like I said, if you do it early enough in the evening, you can easily still do your regular routine later on that night before you go to bed. That's how I make it work and that's how I fit it all in. So let's head over and disinfect this roller. I'm gonna show you my technique. It's pretty straightforward, but it's super, super effective. First, I take a plastic cup and some effortant denture cleaner, which kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. I take a cotton round and I place it in the bottom of that plastic cup gently. Then I take one of the denture tablets and place it on top of the cotton round. I add enough water so that the dermal roller can be completely submerged. I let that tablet completely dissolve, might have to swish it around just a little bit. And then I place my dermal roller in the water gently. The cotton serves as kind of a cushion so that I don't bend or harm the needles in any way. I give it 30 minutes to soak and then I take it out of the solution and I put it through the hottest water that my sink will produce for at least 30 seconds and then I place it back in its container very gently. I make sure that I cover it with its lid and I store it away with the box of Everdent tablets so that they're always together when I need them. And that is it. I hope that this was helpful. I'm happy to do this video over and over and over and answer multiple questions. You guys could roll with me once a week if you want and we could go through questions and we could go through protocols and we could hit everything that we need to hit because it's a huge subject. It's so integral to having fantastic skin. I really, really believe in both cosmetic needling and medical needling in the office. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Happy rolling.